Hey, hey, peeps. It's uh, Diddy here, or Diddy Maljo. Um, yeah, this is normally a reaction channel for me. But uh, yesterday I attended uh, an interview with, uh, yeah, the absolutely lovely Aurora here. Um, we come from the same town. And uh, I just saw that there was an arrangement on uh, on uh, on Facebook. Uh, two women from uh, from the local library was going to have an uh, interview session with uh, Aurora. So uh, yeah, I had to go. And uh, boy, um, it was absolutely brilliant. I must just say so. I sat on the second row, so I was very close to Aurora as well. Got some nice pictures here that I will uh, click through as we uh, as I talk here. But um, yeah, I put some pictures out on my Instagram account, and um, I have got a lot of uh, feedback and likes and everything. Uh, Aurora, she is a very how can I say popular person. And uh, but there was one guy who asked me, what did she say? And uh, well, it's all nice and dandy to show pictures from an interview. But uh, but um, as far as I could see, nobody was uh, videotaping it. Um, and that might be a good thing, because uh, the first half of the interview, they had some serious microphone problems. Uh, they were falling in and out. So, so if somebody has a videotape of that, um, <clears throat> yeah, it will be terrible sound. But how can I say, I took upon myself to write a tiny little resume just from my mind. So there might be errors, there might be things I have misunderstood, but uh, there's no need to to uh, throw me off the cliff for that. Um, I made a PDF of it, uh, and I don't know where I can post that. So if uh, any of you have uh, a good place where I can post uh, this uh, PDF, uh, it's just uh, called Aurora Interview at Bergen Public Library. Um, no big deal. Um, so if, if somebody has a, a, a forum or something uh, for uh, Aurora where I can post it, then Please tell me in the comment section. Um, I thought I was just going to, to read a little bit about what I wrote down. Um, she was interviewed by uh, two women, Maria uh, Amdam and uh, Charlotte Mierbotten. And uh, as you can see in the picture here, this was uh, when she was trying to put on the microphone for the first time. But as I have written here, Aurora, she arrived smiling and happy with a cold beer in her hand. She immediately started to interact with the public and told everyone how happy she was to see so many people showing up at the same time as she was trying to put on her microphone. That's uh, that's uh, the picture you see here. Um, then she went on uh, um, telling us uh, about a uh, little, I can say, a silent and uh, non-productive state that she had been in uh, for a few weeks. And, uh, but here the other day, she just woke up and uh, everything was back to normal. And she has started writing uh, songs and melodies again. And um, yeah, she just told us that she was very happy to be out of the silent uh, and non-productive state uh, where she was happy just to be able to make uh, herself some food during the day um, before she just went back into the silence. But uh, this day she was absolutely full of energy and uh, yeah, she, she gave us a history about, or not a history, but she told us that she, she was back in the days when she was younger, she really disliked people. You know, like really, really dislike people. But um, <clears throat> over the years, she she told she she has a uh, yeah, she has gone the opposite way, and she really loves people now. So she told us that that you can change. You, you 
don't have to be the same person as you've always been. Um, as you start up, start us, so to say. And um, as she, yes, she told us as well, she was never a big people knower, since uh, she grew up with only a handful of people around her as a kid. She told us that uh, there were only four people living close to her and she didn't attend kindergarten when she was young. So uh, the first proper interaction with uh, other people started uh, in primary school. And uh, she told us a, a little bit funny story that she, she had uh, read a book about handshakes or she had uh, learned that handshakes were the normal way to introduce yourself. So uh, she started off day one at school by shaking hands of, of the other kids she was meeting. And uh, she didn't stop just by that. She, she actually got herself a book about handshaking, how they did it in different countries and cultures all around the world. And uh, yeah, she just made a total mess of everything she said. Um, but uh, no. Funny little thing about her there. Um, she just kept on being both intentionally funny and unintentionally funny during the interviews, just like we have seen her in several other interviews. And uh, yeah, I can change the picture here now. Yeah, that's the bear she arrived with, a cold one. So, um, and uh, um, yeah, I. I during the interview, I was thinking that Aurora, she must be one of the easiest persons to interview in the entire world because she's from Bergen and here in Bergen, we are known to be, <clears throat> how can I say, we like to talk about Bergen and some often ourselves as well. <clears throat> but uh, Aurora, she is, how can I say, she has traveled the world, so she has so many impressions. And she is kind of a chatterbox, if you understand what I mean. She she talks while breathing in and out at the same time. And, um, and that makes it very easy. I think during the whole seance here uh, that lasted one and a half hour, um, I think they asked her probably 12 questions or something like that. And some people from the audience got to, to, to uh, yeah, ask her some questions as well. And um, she also talked a little bit about uh, all the negative um, talk that came after she held her concert in Israel. And uh, the, the, the people that interviewed her asked her, how do you feel? What do you feel about the whole situation? And um, she was talking quite a lot about it, but in the end, she, she said that uh, she still thinks about it, but she hadn't made up her mind if it was right or wrong, because all she wanted was to share the love with those who want to be willing to receive it, you know? And I think that's, that's a, totally valid answer to that. She didn't mean any harm. And as she stated later on, she has no political intent whatsoever with what she's doing. And uh, so people just had to draw their own conclusions. Um, yeah, she, she also continued to talk about the need to include everyone uh, and to spread love as much as possible. That's 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 normal for her to to, to say in interviews. And uh, she also talked a bit about her being a, a feminist and uh, that she was uh, all for equality and that both for women and men and, and everybody else. Um, and uh, she also confirmed that she is uh, a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, was one young girl in the audience that uh, asked her uh, what she was in the LGBT 
uh, Q plus community. And uh, she just said that back in the days when she was younger, she, she used to like only girls, but uh, over time, she also started to like boys. So she considered herself as uh, bisexual. And, and uh, yeah, it was nice of her to, to give an answer to, to, to that young girl. You know, it was brilliant. Um, and I will end this now very uh, soon, quickly. Um, the, the thing that made most impression on me during the interview was some of the last things she said. And um, one in the public, he asked about her changes in music styles from album to album. And uh, from that question, uh, we got some answers, or at least I got an answer I, I didn't expect. Uh, because she said that all the changes she makes from album to album is with 100% intent. Every single album is meant to be different. And she also knows exactly how many albums she's going to make before she stops. And she has already given names to all her future albums or titles to all her future albums. She also told us that for each album she makes, she saves one song that will never be played or released. She said that the last album will contain all of these songs. But that album, album won't be released before after her death. That's a deep one. And uh, I, I really like that. I really like that. Some of us will never hear it. But some others will definitely hear it and they will feel the same thing as we have done with all her albums so far. So um, that's, that's uh, I, th I like that. I like that. Um, so um, my impressions from the interview is uh, that Aurora, she's uh, weird. Uh, she said that herself. Uh, and uh, But then again, she said, that she didn't feel weird, but she felt that normal persons were weird. So, and yes, I can totally see that. And uh, I really liked the way she, she said that. Um, yeah, sorry, this is 100% amateur. I don't know if anybody would uh, like to see this or enjoy this, but uh, this is just a, yeah, a little read of my resume from, from uh, the interview what it was uh, all about. And um, yeah, I will try and find a place where I can put out this one in, uh, in writing. So um, if anybody has a, a forum or something like that where I can put it out, then please, please just leave a comment in the comment section and uh, I will put it out for those of you who are interested, of course. Well, next time you see me, I might be doing a reaction to uh, some of Aurora's new stuff. But uh, at the moment, I've heard everything. Uh, there are a couple of songs from her last album that she hasn't performed uh, live, you know, in like a Viva setting and stuff like that. So there's still a few songs that I'm, I'm uh, holding on to uh, that I can't listen to before she has released a, a live version of them. So um, yeah, until then. See you around and uh, take care, okay?